हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम संजना कपटगी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग ए आई टी एम बेलगावी लेट एस कंटिन्यू विद वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑन स्टोरेज एरिया नेटवर्क्स इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल स्टडी अबाउट रिमोट रेप्लीकेशन एंड माइग्रेशन इन अ वर्चुअलाइज एनवेरमेंट ओके दिस टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम चैप्टर ट्वेल्व रिमोट रेप्लीकेशन so in a virtualized environment all the virtual machine data as well as virtual machine configuration files residing on the say on the storage array at the primary site are replicated to the storage array at the remote site so that is how replication is done in the virtualized environment so this process remains transparent to the virtual machines okay so the luns that is logical unit numbers are replicated between the two sites using the storage array replication technology so this replication process can be either asynchronous which is limited which is uh, limited uh, which is at a limited distance and rpo will be near to zero or it can also be asynchronous uh, which has uh, the remote site at a distant place and the rpo will be non zero the virtual machine migration is another technique that is used to ensure business continuity in case of the hypervisor hypervisor failure or a scheduled maintenance okay in case of virtual machines so virtual machine migration is a process to move virtual machines from one hypervisor to another hypervisor without powering off the virtual machines that means without disconnecting the virtual machines or without uh, uh, stopping the operation in the virtual machine we are going to transfer or we are going to move some virtual machines from one hypervisor to another hypervisor okay so uh, virtual machine migration it also helps in load balancing when multiple virtual machines running on the same hypervisor content for resources so when there are multiple virtual machines running on only one hypervisor they will be competing for the resources available in the host machine so in that case this virtual machine migration it helps okay to balance the load suppose there are uh, multiple jobs running on virtual machines on a single hypervisor then in order to execute all those programs the virtual machines will have to access the resources but since there are multiple virtual machines they will have to fight for the resources in that case what we can do we can move some of the virtual machines from this hypervisor to another hypervisor which is free okay so this process is nothing but migration so two commonly used techniques for virtual machine migration are hypervisor to hypervisor migration and the next one is array to array migration so uh, in hypervisor to hypervisor virtual machine migration the entire active state of the virtual machine is moved from one hypervisor to another you can see this in the figure the figure shows hypervisor to hypervisor virtual machine migration so this method it involves copying the contents of virtual machine from Uh, virtual machine memory from the source hypervisor to the target and then transferring the control of the virtual machine's disk files to the target hypervisor okay so because the virtual machine disks of the uh, virtual machines are not migrated so this technique it requires both the source and the target hypervisor to access the same storage storage we are not going to migrate okay so that is why they have to access the same storage array next in array to array virtual machine migration virtual disks are moved from the source source array to the remote array so this approach it enables the administrator to move virtual machines across dissimilar storage arrays arrays so the figure shows uh, array to array virtual machine migration so array to array migration starts by copying the metadata about the virtual machine from the source array to the target the metadata essentially consists of the configuration swap and log files after the metadata is copied the virtual machine disk file is replicated to the new location so during the replication process there might be a chance that the source is updated okay so during the replication there are chances that the source may gets updated 
so therefore it is necessary to track the changes on the source in order to maintain the data integrity so whatever is happening at the source the same data should be available at the remote array also or remote sites also okay so the changes we have uh, changes needs to be tracked in order to maintain the data integrity so after the replication is complete the blocks that have changed since the replication started are replicated to the new location so array to array virtual machine migration it improves the performance and balances the storage capacity by redistributing the virtual disk to different storage devices okay so this is about remote replication and migration in a virtualized environment thank you for watching